There's no stinking way. <laughs> What's going on? As cool eucalyptus and bright mint mingle. Oh, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know where all of this stuff comes from, but like I found a bunch of random stuff. I need you to last, okay? Because I need you. I need you to last. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Danny Rearranged YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. Today's video is video number two of my spring into summer deep clean declutter and organize series. And that is exactly what we're doing in today's video. We are deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing this kitchen, but I'm also doing some restocking, rearranging, sharing some new products. We're literally doing all of the things. This video took me a hot minute to finish. This kitchen has always been a pain <laughs> for me to figure out, and I spent a lot of time and attention trying to figure out how to just make this kitchen the best that it could possibly be. So uh, we're getting into a lot. We're going to talk about a lot. We're, we're just doing a lot. It's just a lot. So <laughs> anyway, let's get into um, it. I'm going to pull all of this out. You know what I am going to turn that light back on. I know what I'm doing. Good. Yeah, there we go. Whatever. Um, my refrigerator is kind of acting up, which I'm not super thrilled about. Um, so that's not good. Um, it's, it's running. It's keeping the food cold. It's at a good temperature. I can see the temperature, so that's good. It's just, I need you to last, okay? Because I need you, I need you to last, okay? Please don't fail me. Um, I'm gonna pull all of this stuff out. Did I show this? Did it? I don't know if I showed this, but I'm going to pull all that out and then I'm going to pull all of this out. And then I think that's it for, um, like dishes and stuff like that. Minus, I got to look at the top of the fridge. I might as well just do that. You know what? Let's look at the top of the fridge right after I, sh let me pull this stuff out and then we'll get to the top of the fridge. So I'm going to pull all of that out and then I'm going to pull everything, um, out of this, uh, it's like a pan cabinet. So we'll do that right now. And then I think that's it minus the utensils, uh, the, the utensil drawers. Um, I'm going to leave in there for right now. We'll just leave that there. Okay. I got to wash this. Uh, oh, I forgot to do the snap of the thing. Snap of the fingers. Oh man. Sorry. Well, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Like most of my videos, I am all over the place, and that is no exception for today's video. <laughs> Even though my notes are organized, uh, I just, I'm all over the place. That's just kind of how I do things. So the first thing I wanted to do is pull out everything, but I wanted to start with the pots, pans, dishware, things like that. Lucas! Why, why, why are we keeping this? Just in case? I mean, it could be rare. But, I mean, what? Stand on that. Okay. I like it. Okay, well, why don't you go put this in your room? Yeah, here. Because it's been me. sitting up there for a while. Yeah, give this to me. Don't no, give it to me. So you don't even like football. This was a cute Christmas gift that. She doesn't even. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. 
people. Okay, some of this stuff is going up to the cabin. So um, this is going up to the cabin. This was that hot dog and bun cooker that I found at my parents' house. But it does work. Um, it, it's it's definitely a novelty thing, but it's going up to the cabin. The ice cream maker failed on us. Yeah, that ice cream maker. I'll show you that in a second. It did fail. I thought it was gonna be. We, we tried giving it a try a couple of times. It just we couldn't get it to work. Maybe you had to put it in the freezer. Yeah. What is this? Oh, it's a thingy. It's the house thingy. Oh, this is a Halloween one, sweetie. That's the, what Grandma got you. Yeah, we can get rid of it. Yeah, we made the house already. I really dislike this cabinet, and it should be empty. In fact. I forgot to show this cabinet at the end of today's video, but it is empty and I'm hoping it stays that way. I don't know how random stuff keeps getting thrown in here, but um, this is kind of the random cabinet. This is probably the best this cabinet has ever looked though, prior to me doing anything to it. Oh, that's right, I was gonna do a DIY with this, but it's cracked, so we can get rid of that. Gave me this and, then, and then my mom got me this too. It's a waffle maker. I got a mini waffle maker that my mom got me. Um, but I like having this. I, those two are this Lucas's. is the ice tray for the freezer, but it won't fit in the freezer right now. So it's been sitting up here. So yeah. As I stated earlier, I wanted to get all of the pots, pans, dishware, glassware, stuff like that out first. Uh, because I wanted to declutter those items first. So as I was pulling everything out, I was grouping, trying to group like items together. Eventually I get to the food and beverage products, but I wanted to start with the pots and pans first, you know, that type of stuff, because that stuff is the hardest for me to organize. Also, this doesn't work. Uh, my mom gave it to me. I didn't have a food processor. I really wanted one. Unfortunately, I just couldn't get it to work. So I had to declutter that. I don't know where all of this stuff comes from, but like I found a bunch of random stuff that goes to nothing. No, I wonder if the, I bet you this isn't a car. I'm going to hold on to that. Don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's all I know. And most of the Tupperware is my mom's. So a lot of it I have to get because she makes The ice cream machine, the ice cream maker, it was a birthday or Christmas present to Zoe. I can't remember which one, but uh, it just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't it. <laughs> uh, it just didn't, it just didn't do what I think it was supposed to do. It just, it was time to go. I, Zoe even was like, yeah, it's, it, it can go. It's okay. <laughs> so we ended up letting that go. And then these two serving trays, dip trays, whatever, uh, those, uh, were from my mom. Um, you're going to notice a lot of stuff from my mom, uh, either stuff that she's given me or borrowed to me. <laughs> my mom loves to shop. If you've been with me for a while, that's, that's no secret. Uh, you probably already uh, know that she loves to shop so but um anyway uh i don't need two of those Why? trays and <laughs> i decided to declutter one of them but the other one's going up to the cabin there's quite a few items that will be leaving this kitchen but we will be using it up at the cabin uh that gingerbread box why it was empty and up above the fridge i have no idea i why and then all of this tupperware i just wanted to get it or food containers i just wanted to get it out of the way most of this is going back to my mom so i just put what? it in this box the... uh some of it is mine but most of it is Where's my mom's it's going back to her i want collapsible food containers yeah, that's actually on my so kitchen nice. wish list which um I maybe think. i'll have enough time to go through that today oh and then is this one cracked too yep and this one's cracked. So I got three of these that have to get recycled because they're cracked. That leaves me with one small clear one and two large blue ones. That's all I have left. 
unless there's some laying around the house, which I don't think there is. So, and then these cups here, these two little ones, and then these two little ones were actually um, cups that were decluttered from my mom's house. I did take these four ones because here, I like these for the kids. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep these four. I'm gonna keep this one, and then I'm gonna keep these two. And the reason why, I'm, and even though they're mismatched, I'm gonna keep all of these, and we're gonna, I'm gonna make a um, an area for the kids to grab these cups. So these are gonna be the kids' cups. So for like water, because we have that Culligan, we have that water cooler over there, um, because it's a pain for them to reach up in that cat up in the cabinets where the glassware and the dishes and stuff are so i'm going to make a section for them a lower cabinet for them to just grab a glass grab a glass of water and then you know and i'll show you what, where we're going to do that so i am going to keep that one we're going to now that there's a reason why i've collected all of these glass jars and i'm going to talk about it right now in the voiceover while i go through this and figure out what it is I want to do with this. This is going. I don't know why. And this is going because I was going to make another soap dispenser. Not going to do that. And then these two can go because I was going to make a soap dispenser out of these. So these can get recycled. Well, wait a minute because that's a nice jug, jar. If I take the label, oh, if I take the label off, that's a nice, is that going to be a pain to get off though? See, that's going to be such a pain to get off. Yeah, but that's such a nice jar. I love the shape of this. See, these pasta ones are too big. They're too big. Like, these are jam jars, and these are perfect. I love these for drinking glasses. And then, of course, my, my ranch, all of these are my ranch jars. I do have a lot of jars, uh, the lighthouse ranch, homestyle ranch jars, which by the way, best ranch ever. Uh, those are my favorites next to the jam jars. I have been collecting a lot. <laughs> There's a reason for that. I'm actually not going to talk about that next. I'm going to talk about that after I go over the, the kitchen. I want to talk about the kitchen in general. So yes, I, I, there's so much to go over with this Same kitchen. Thing. So you just kind of get under it with a butter knife, just like that, get under it, kind of push it up a little bit. You can go around and then it just, boop, you know, just if you want to keep them, you can keep them. And then they just, you know, you can pop them right back on. Um, again, just get right underneath it and boop. And then it looks a little bit classier. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going in the Halloween bin. Uh, I'll go put this away. I'm gonna wrap it up and put it in the um, uh, and put it in the Halloween bin. But it is uh, 10:30. Well, it's almost 10:30. It's it's 1023. Uh, and, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go to bed cause I got to wake up early and hopefully I I'm hoping I can finish the kitchen tomorrow. Um, oh, I will see you tomorrow morning. Cheers. There's nothing in here. Don't know what I'm cheering. Just we'll see you in the morning. that I have been thinking about and I knew that I was gonna I was going to reassess when I was in this kitchen was uh and I think something that I haven't really uh it hasn't been the focal point of my decluttering and organizing videos specifically in the kitchen is really reassessing what 
is working and what isn't. So when you're working with an area that you're having a difficult time uh, either keeping uh, decluttered or uh, especially keeping organized, it's important to assess what's working and what's not. So for example, in the kitchen, what areas are working for me? Well, the beverage cabinet is for sure working great for me. So that's, and I'll show you the beverage cabinet and um, it's also holding jar food and canned food, but that cabinet works really, really well. So why is it working really well? Well, we're gonna talk about that. Another area that's working really well is the uh, breakfast cabinet and the pantry area. So that, and I'll show you those two cabinets too. So the food beverage areas is what, I, that's when I realized it hit me that those are the areas that are working really well, food and beverages. What's not working well is the dishware, the glassware, the pots and pans and things like that. So why is it not working well? So I think one of my biggest issues is that I'm placing things too high up. I don't think anything should be for sure in this top cabinet. I don't think anything should be in any of the top cabinets in this kitchen because this the, the cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling. You can see that it goes all the way up to the ceiling. So we have this step stool in here. It's a two step stool stool. <laughs> and we keep this in here so we can reach these high areas. And the thing is, is that I just, I don't think it's necessary. We have enough room in this kitchen, even though it's not functional, we have enough room in this kitchen to where we don't need to store things up in the top cabinets. It's just, we're gonna leave the very top shelves on all of the cabinets empty, except maybe the pantry cabinet and maybe the breakfast cabinet, we'll see it. Now above the fridge stayed empty for quite some time and then it got filled up again. Okay, why did it get filled up again? And why was it filled up with miscellaneous stuff, like random things? So reassessing what's working and what's not working when you're trying to organize an area is really important because if you can figure out what's working, then maybe you can apply what's working to the areas that aren't working. And uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. So I know for a fact, at least I can say, because I'm still not quite sure where I, what I wanna do, how I'm gonna organize my pots, pans, and dishware, um, at least I can say I know for a fact I don't want any of the top shelves being used at all. Um, so a process of elimination to get to our goals. Thank you. That was pretty good, Danielle. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I am finally able to get into my notes. <laughs> I have uh, a bunch of notes. They're not super organized, but then again, when am I ever organized? You know, organization is something that I used to think I was pretty good at, and then I realized I'm not. That's one of the reasons why I have to come into this kitchen every five to six months to reorganize it, because clearly I'm not organized, <laughs> but I do have notes in front of me because I wanted to go over um, a bunch of stuff with the kitchen. and. The first thing that I wanted to go over was the kitchen in general. So I know I've said this before in other kitchen videos. Um, well, first, let me start by saying that I'm very grateful for this kitchen. I am, well, I'm grateful for every, every single thing in my life I am grateful for. Gratitude is huge with me. Um, I'm very grateful for this kitchen. However, if I had the funds, the time to gut this kitchen, I would do it <laughs> in a heartbeat. Uh, if an all brown kitchen is your thing, that's awesome. That's, I mean, to each its own, you know, an all brown kitchen for some, it's awesome. They love it. For me, uh, it's just not my cup of tea and everything in this kitchen is brown. The, uh, pretty sure is the ceiling brown. I know the, the, the wainscoting, wainscoting, never got that word right, is brown. The windows are brown, the door is brown, the baseboards are brown, the cabinets are brown, the backsplash is brown, the countertops are brown, the sink is brown, the floors are brown, everything is brown. And that's fine, it's just not my cup of tea. So there's that. You know, I think aesthetically, as it were, I would like it to be, no, you know, but it's fine. Uh, 
Also, I think the biggest issue more than anything is the fact that I just think the layout of the kitchen is not functional. The layout itself, I feel like it's not very functional. Now, that could just be me because I don't know what I'm doing and organization is a little bit hard. By the way, I do have a pencil in my hair because I'm constantly writing down notes now. You, I talked about that in the last video that you will probably periodically see me write things down. So I need a something on me 24 seven so I can write notes down because I forget everything. Literally, I forget everything. But um, anyway, uh, so this has been a struggle for me to organize. I, I reorganize this kitchen every five to six months because if I don't do that, it just becomes a chaotic disaster uh, like it was earlier, what you've seen earlier. Um, it just it just wasn't working. And one of the things that was really not working was uh, where the dishes and the glassware were. So what I wanted to do was, uh, I forgot that there was stuff in that drawer, the oven drawer. <laughs> um, what I wanted to do was figure out a way, I couldn't put the shelf, I, I would have put the shelf lower where I didn't have to put those racks there, but I couldn't put the shelf where I wanted the racks, if that made sense. I just couldn't do it. So I, 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 I figured I would, I don't, I don't know what I figured. I just figured that that would work. So hopefully it does. So far it's working better. I feel like, um, you know, you just kind of have to move things around sometimes. And sometimes it takes moving things around multiple different times before you figure out what works for you. Uh, like I stated earlier, one of the things that works really well is the food and beverages. However, I did, uh, get rid of the breakfast cabinet and you'll see why later on in today's video. But, um, anyway, I, I'll, I'll move on from that. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the jars. Um, I have been collecting jars because we go through glassware. I feel like silverware, like for some reason I have way too much silverware right now. And I probably could have decluttered more than what I did in today's video, but I'm either losing silverware or cups and okay. cups. Break. I think I have us. the pots, pans, dishware, glasses, things like that. I think I got that taken care of. Um, I'm going to start moving on to food. I'm going to go really quick with the refrigerator and freezer. So that will just hurry up and get through really quickly. But um, I'm going to start working on food and stuff like that. The fridge, the pantry. Um, and then I'm going to get to the miscellaneous stuff like the utensils, Tupperware, lunch boxes, seasoning, um, you know, Lucas's cabinet, those things places. We'll do those last. Uh, we'll do those areas last. And one thing that I wanted to mention before I forget is that sometimes like when you're working on an, a large area, you're trying to organize and declutter a large area. Sometimes in the beginning of the process, you feel like you're lost. Like it's not working. It's, you feel like you're going in circles. Like it's just, you're not getting anywhere. Keep going. Because now that I got all of the pots and pans and dishware and glassware all put away, I feel like now I'm gaining some momentum and we can push forward. And then, you know, you start to see, you know, even the little bit of like the littlest bit of progress kind of pushes you into, um, finishing the job. Like it kind of gives you hope that, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing something right. I'm getting things done. It's starting to look good. And then it kind of just continues to motivate you. So just give it time give it time. Don't rush yourself. It just, it's a process. It could take a while, but eventually if you just keep going, you'll get there. Um, but more than anything, we're not about motivation. We're about determination. We're going to get the job done. <laughs> we're determined. <laughs> so let's work on, let me show you this area. Well, yeah, I'll show you the, the, so I, I've been putting chips up here like chips and pretzels up there. Um, I'll, I don't know. I, I don't know. How I, oh, there's my other. I don't need it anymore because that I don't, I only have two. I'll, we can declutter this. I am going to go back to talking about the jars. We're going to, I'll make it brief. I'll, I'll get back to that in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you some of the uh, new organizing supplies that I had uh, accumulated over a period of time specifically for this video. So the first containers that I had held up 
Uh, I believe it was a set of six. They're from Walmart. Uh, this is also from Walmart, but this is the home edit uh, container. I hope that I'm saying that right. I've never purchased their stuff before. This was my first time. Um, so this, I'm not exactly sure what they're called or what they're for. I'll be sure to link everything new that I got in today's video in the description box below. But I want to say this was like maybe a container for laundry, but I thought that it, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I thought it would work perfect uh, in the kitchen for underneath the sink. And then the next thing that I'm going to pull out is also going to go under the sink. Only this, I believe, was for your desk. This is also from the home edit. Um, and, uh, I, I want to say it's for your desk, but again, I thought I could utilize this for underneath the sink, which I did. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And then I picked up some of these containers from the Dollar Tree. So these are probably some of the nicest, like acrylic bins that I had seen at the Dollar Tree. They are so nice. Uh, the Dollar Tree is a wonderful place to go if you're looking for organizing supplies, bins, baskets, things like that. Um, a lot of my organizing uh, supplies is from the Dollar Tree. They have great stuff. Um, but I was highly recommended uh, to go to Walmart to pick up my, my uh, organizing supplies, my containers uh, from the last kitchen video that I did at my house. And I had to check it out. Went to Walmart, great prices, highly recommend Walmart. Uh, for getting your bins or baskets or things like that, containers, food storage containers, really anything organizing supplies, highly recommend Walmart. They have fantastic prices. That home edit, the containers, like the actual quality of the containers is so nice. Um, and they're really, I think they're at a, I think they're at a good price. So thank you to all of you who recommended Walmart, um, because I had to check them out. I'm so glad that I did. Uh, the, the first six containers that I showed you, I don't think are from the home edit. I'm more than positive. They're not, that's just Walmart's brand, I think. So again, I'll link everything in the description box, but, um, I did pick up a couple more things for this video. You're going to see that in a little bit. And those things were off of Amazon. So I do go to Amazon as well. Uh, Amazon Dollar Tree. I've picked up stuff from Hobby Lobby. Um, and now I, I have Walmart. Uh, Walmart is definitely probably the first place I'm going to look when find, trying to find bins or baskets and containers and things like that. Uh, it's going to be Walmart and Amazon. But um, where, oh, I'll get back into the jar. So I did pull out everything out of the pantry. Uh, and now I'm just restocking, reorganizing, um, things like that. But do I have time to get into the jars? Did I, did so I, I got did... juniper laurel mint, juniper laurel mint. Oh, who knows if I'm saying that right. So, um, this is a, it says countertop spray. Um, I'm I'm trying to think here. Directions it says simply spray and wipe clean. <laughs> okay. The I'm gonna call it Caldrea Company creates incredibly effective formulas that are addictively delightful. Oh, that's a mouthful to use and are thoughtfully crafted for you and your home. Our countertop spray helps freshen your home by cleaning finished surfaces, including woodwork, tile, laminate, porcelain fixtures, sealed wood floors, and sealed natural and engineered stone, um, including granite. It's saying, I think it says, scent of fresh pine as cool eucalyptus and bright mint mingle. Oh, oh my, oh my. <laughs> mm. Wow, I could just leave this open and just sit with it like a candle. It's, wow, I don't even know if I want to use it. <laughs> oh, okay. Alrighty, well, um, okie dokie then. I really like the smell. <laughs> It's, it is, it is refreshing. <laughs> it's refreshing. <laughs> oh, you can smell that, that eucalyptus and it's just like, oh man. <laughs> it puts you in a happy mood. 
at 8 o'clock at night. I'm still not done. Okay, so this I've been waiting to show you. I'm finally going to open this up. I haven't opened it up yet. I've had it for a while. <laughs> so, I needed more containers. So, I got this set from Amazon. It comes, okay, again, see, this is what I'm saying. I don't, obviously, clearly, I do not check the dang, okay, what? See, for real? No, there's more, right? Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, there's 12 these for like, well, maybe I will use them. Oh, maybe I will, I don't know, maybe I will. Um, okay, so I thought I got six big ones. Apparently, I got 12 smaller ones, which is fine. I needed these. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't need those because that's too big. I think this will work fine. Okay, so... Bamboo. <laughs> bamboo and glass. <laughs> I love bamboo and glass. And I don't mind displaying them. Oh, it I, I was just going to say, does it come with the chalk pen? It does. Oh, and it's a nice one. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. I am finally going to wrap up the jar situation here. Um, <laughs> uh, I did start collecting jars, jam jars, pasta jars, ranch jars, because I figured instead of buying new glassware, because we either lose glassware or it breaks, I figured instead of buying new ones, I would just reuse, repurpose, uh, you know, pasta jars, jam jars, stuff like that. The problem is, is that it got out of control. Uh, it became, um, it, it was, it became a problem. <laughs> I started collecting all jars. Uh, so I needed to go through them and recycle some of them that I just, I, I didn't need. This kitchen looks bad. <laughs> yeah. It does. I don't remember how many days this took to finish this kitchen. I'm pretty sure this was the end of day two. So it looks worse, but it gets better. Day three. So this is the lazy Susan became the miscellaneous area. We're going to just check it out and see how it works. I've moved a lot of stuff around, but, um, this tin here, this coffee tin I've been using to store, um, all of our cookie cutters, which I thought it works perfect. Like it fits. And that's kind of like our boundary. Like we're not going to go over this can. Um, you know, if we want new ones and they don't fit, then something's got to be removed. Kind of the one in, one out rule. <laughs> so let's take these out of the package. The carving, pumpkin carving kit I'll put in the Halloween bin. I still got to put that skull cup in there too. So, oh, aren't these cute? Just darling. Oh, I broke it. Of course I would break that. Of course. So many things broke, fell apart in today's video. So many things. The refrigerator's okay. It's still kicking. How long it's going to continue to kick, <laughs> I don't know. But so many other things fell apart. Oh, flower. I got to keep the spring bunny, like all the spring ones out. I, I don't know what this is. I think it's a bird. Okay. So these ones are going.
I have to look back at my notes here. <laughs> where am I? Um, I think I've mentioned this before in the past where I have a cabinet for Lucas in the kitchen, just like I have a cabinet for Zoe in the dining room. So my mom- All of this <laughs> is getting recycled. That's a lot, that's a lot. But all of that's getting recycled. I just gotta go through it with Lucas really quick to double check. <laughs> my mom, okay. How many times have I said this in today's video alone? My mom bought the kids a subscription uh, each month for, so like, Lucas's subscription is a cooking box. It's like a cooking box that he gets each month that my mom purchased for him. And then she got, my mom got Zoe uh, a monthly subscription box. It's called the Zoo Box. I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of these too. Like all of the utensils, cookie cutters, stuff like that. All of the silverware, same thing. We're gonna wash all of that. I'm actually gonna, just to get it clean again, just just wash it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and donate that one because we don't need two of them. This is a Christmas one, so this doesn't belong. So the zoo box comes with like little, you know, toys, stuffed animals, books, stickers, stuff like that. So that stays in the dining room area. But Lucas's stuff, since it's a cooking box, that stays in the kitchen and I created a cabinet for him. So I want to keep a section of that cabinet um, where it's his cooking books. And um, a lot of times these, these boxes, these, I don't know what they're called, chef boxes, something like that. Um, they come with like utensils, but they also come with recipes, like little recipe books. So I put these recipe books in that three ring binder and I want to use half of that cabinet for his cooking books and recipes and stuff. But the other half, the top half of that cabinet is going to be used for what little, uh, food containers I have like Tupperware stuff. So because all of his utensils that he's gotten from these subscription boxes, which there's a lot, we're going to keep together with the utensils. That, that's not making sense. So <laughs> there's a drawer, a utensil drawer that I had, but I separated his utensils in that cabinet. I don't want to do that because I noticed that a lot of like the utensils he gets we all use. They're really good utensils. So I wanted to divide them up. So I took um, two of those uh, containers that I got from Walmart, which I believe was a set of six. And um, one of the containers is like the, you know, regular utensils. And then the other container is his utensils. And that way all of the utensils are in one drawer. There we go. <laughs> and I'll talk about uh, Zoe's cabinet when we deep clean, declutter and organize the dining room. But, um, so yeah, where else am I going with this? Uh, I'm restocking. I'm still restocking. You've probably noticed I've been all over the kitchen now. Like I, I can never stay organized. You know, I'll start removing stuff, decluttering it. I'll start cleaning. I'll start organizing. I'll start restocking. I'll go back to probably decluttering or organizing. Like I'm bouncing all over the place. And it's, it's too difficult for me to stay super organized. And I think that's why, especially in the kitchen, because the kitchen is like my biggest stress area. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why it, it took me so long to finish this video is because it's eventually I get it done. Like <laughs> it's a hot mess of a process, but eventually I get the job done. But now I'm really focusing on going through the food um, like the pantry and the food stuff, the seasoning. I didn't, I forgot to show the before of the beverage cabinet. It wasn't that bad, but I do show at the end of today's video. At the end of today's video, I'm going to show you before and afters of the entire kitchen. Um, but I'll show you the after of the beverage cabinet. Uh, what else? What else? I feel like I'm going to get cut off here soon. So I'm going to just take a quick break here.
Oh, man. What the? Oh. Well, there's that. <laughs> oh, and that. Okay. I found my other measuring cup. <sighs> I've been looking for that. Yuck. That was everything in there. What happened to that cup? Look at Look at all that. Yuck. All right, well, all of that's going. <laughs> I didn't even think to check under the drawers, like to pull the entire drawer out and look underneath. Didn't even think to do that. So since I was over there and I got done cleaning the drawer, the whole area, I figured I would start working on the oven. I hate So I've, I've kind of started scrubbing a little bit, but I wanted you to see. I really, I don't know why I start this stuff at 10 o'clock at night. It's nighttime, but I don't know how well you can see it, but it's pretty bad. I hate cleaning my oven. I hate it. I do. That's a pleasant sound. <laughs> I'm skipping ahead to the future. <laughs> this was actually filmed after I was completely done with the entire kitchen. Are my racks in wrong? <laughs> they are. Okay. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to keep the footage of the oven together. I'll have to fix those racks. Um. But I wanted to also mention that I use the pink stuff, which is one of my newest uh, cleaning products I've been using and absolutely love. I love that stuff. So I used the pink stuff and then I ended up using a uh, tin foil to clean the oven. I got it pretty good. Um, I wanted to show the dishes and the dishwasher because I wanted to show you that this dishwasher. There's no was way working. as I was talking about this dishwasher, it stops working. There's no way. me there's no stinking way what are the freaking odds there's no way It's me. I have an energy, a vibe. It's me. Anything electronic or technical hates me. It's me. It's me. I give, I have a vibe. I have an energy about me. I swear. It's anything, computers, TVs, cars. I, I mean, everything, it's everything. It's me. I have an energy. I have an aura. I have something about me. You have bad luck. I know. Zoe is so funny. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't need the whole new brand bag. What? <laughs> I didn't need a brand new bag of dishwashing pods because I don't have a working dishwasher now. I, I just bought a brand new bag of dishwashing pods. <laughs> See, the thing about the dishwasher is I mostly hand wash my dishes. There are times where I would use the dishwasher, especially when I'm filming because it just goes quicker. But for the most part, I'm hand washing my dishes. I should probably talk about the microfiber cloths. Hold on. So the, I'll go back to the dishwasher. The microfiber cloths, uh, they are marked because I don't want to cross contaminate. So I just bought new microfiber cloths. Um, I think in the last video I showed that. But um, I usually buy new microfiber cloths every like four to six months. And then um, my old ones sometimes become like DIY rags or just rags. Uh, I mark them though. So I label uh, my microfiber cloths like rags. Uh, sometimes it'll be marked with an H for house or I'll write house. Um, or there's a B on the microfiber cloths and that's for bathroom. So uh, the blue 
stack of microfiber cloths that I was holding up. Those are just for the bathrooms. And then the rest of them are for the house. Um, the rest of them that were in that, that, uh, home edit container. Now there are some blue microfiber cloths in that container, but those are marked with an H or marked house. So I do mark all of my microfiber cloths, but, um, I also, <laughs> uh, I had some technical issues. <laughs> When am I not having technical issues? I lost some footage. And um, I, I basically deep cleaned the entire fridge, the entire freezer. I deep cleaned the mini fridge as well. Uh, I re, you know, rearranged, reorganized, restocked both of the fridges. Yep. And then <laughs> I also marked my eggs. I had to label my eggs because I needed a label for that. But some of the footage uh, of the fridge freezer, restocking the fridge freezer, um, got lost. I don't know. It, I, I always have te technical issues. So it's probably, I'm not too upset about it, but I am upset, but the video would have ran even longer had I had that footage. So anyway, I just, I gathered as much footage of the fridge freezer as I could. Um, but then, yes, I also uh, deep cleaned and restocked, you know, the mini fridge. And uh, I'm going to go through the checklist later on in today's video. We, we, I did a lot. There's, there's, there's a lot that was done. <laughs> so anyway, going back to the dishwasher, Ian and I uh, were afraid to get to the filter because in order to get to the filter, you have to completely rip the entire, well, you have to take apart the entire dishwasher. And we were afraid the entire inside of the dishwasher. We were afraid to do that because we were afraid we were going to break it. So what I've been doing is uh, using this thing. I'm a Bob. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a container. You flip it upside down. You put it in the dishwasher. You run it on its longest, hottest cycle, and it cleans the dishwasher. So that's what I've been using periodically. But for the most part, I've been, I usually hand wash my dishes, but now I have to hand wash my dishes forever because I don't. <laughs> a dishwasher it broke <laughs> of course so anywho uh there's that um where am i i know i should play some music i should probably play some music i don't want to play music i enjoy talking with all of you so much like i just i love to talk and i have so much that i want to say so maybe later i'll play some music i hope that's okay I hope, I hope that's okay. I, I have so much to go over. Oh, this broke. Yep. That happened. <laughs> I had to, uh, edit, uh, I had to do a voiceover for this part for sure, because I was, I was swearing just a little bit, just a little bit. I was like, why, what is going on? And then this happened. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. Did it already happen? Oh, wait. And then I did it in slow motion. The glass on the light bulb fell off. What's going on? What? First, the fridge, then the dishwasher, then the cabinet over mm -hmm. here. How did that break? I have no idea. And now a part of the light bulb just fell off. It was one thing after the next, <laughs> but it's all good. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> so the rest of today's video is me uh, showing bits and pieces of me cleaning, finishing up the kitchen, cleaning the kitchen. Uh, the last, like, ugh, I want to say it's, it's long. Like the last six, seven minutes of today's video is me showing before and afters of the kitchen. Um, I wanted to, you'll see how I did it, but anyway, um, I wanted to f finish up cleaning. I don't know why I went through the window. I should have just walked around, but <laughs> I decided to crawl in between the window to get to the other side to clean it. Um, but I, I did, let's go through the checklist. <laughs> um, okay. So the kitchen, which I'm almost done finalizing the whole checklist. It's like six pages long. But for the kitchen, what we finished was washing the curtains, clean, uh, wipe down all the light fixtures, pull everything out of the cabinets and drawers, declutter, uh, declutter. And then I have, it says, keep 
keeping slash grouping like items together. Then uh, I deep cleaned the inside and outside of the cabinets and drawers. Uh, we did an extreme kitchen organization. Uh, we put all of the keep items back, deep clean the fridge and freezer, deep clean mini fridge and water cooler, deep clean inside and outside of all appliances. We clean the backsplash windows, door, deep clean countertops using the new product. You're going to see me use the new product uh, on the counters. I also used the, that, um, what is it called? You'll see. It's the one that I, I smelt. I don't want to I don't want to mispronounce the name because I feel like I am, but it's like, yeah, I don't want to, I won't. But anyway, I use that. I love it. Just a heads up or uh, spoiler alert. I love it. Um, and then uh, we, uh, oh, uh, clean the garbage bin, uh, deep clean the sink, the entire area of the sink, garbage recycling and floors. And then I also disinfected all of the doorknobs and light switches. We did it all. Uh, it was a lot. <laughs> so the new cleaning product, uh, which it's, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I feel like I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Caldrea? Caldre? Oh, anyway. Um, I do love it. I, I, I have to admit, I really do like it. I think it cleans just as well as like a Mrs. Myers, you know, multi-surface cleaner. I think what sets this, I think one of the reasons why maybe it's a little pricier is because of the scent. It is an amazing scent. It lingers for a while. You know, not only does it clean really well, but the scent is so good. It's just so good. Uh, would I buy that product again? Yes. Would I use it sparingly? Yes. So I would try other scents of theirs just because I'd like to try all of them. The only thing about this product is it's a little bit pricier. Now, I don't know if prices are different off of Amazon versus like the actual company site. I don't know where else you can find it. I just know I found it on Amazon. I know that there was multiple different prices um, for the same cleaner, just different scents. So again, I don't know if it's like, you know, with Mrs. Myers when, you know, now that we're in spring or, you know, if you're in fall, you know, depending on the scent or the season, their products can be a little bit more pricier than say like their, you know, regular scents, like their basil, lavender, lemon. I don't know if that's like a similar situation with this brand, but I tried finding the cheapest one that I could find. Um, I can't remember exactly what I got it for, but I know that the prices were like nine, 10, even 11, $12 for this, for just a 16 ounce cleaner. <laughs> so it's spendy. It's, 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 you know, I, I, I spend half that much on, you know, other all purpose cleaners, but, um, I would use it for special occasions. So I did like it. I have to admit, I, I really liked it. So this is the before of this cabinet. Again, I'm showing before and afters of the kitchen um, just to, you know, give a side by side of all of the work and progress that was made in the kitchen. Um, and then uh, I wanted to mention the sink because I got that rubber thing to go on the sink. It was too small. So I basically cut it in half and turned it into that. There's also some pieces of decor um, in the kitchen, particularly the tray. That's not staying there. I DIY'd that. I made a short out of that. I'll link that short in the description box below. I wanted to put it in the kitchen, but it's too it's too big. So um, I, I'm, I, I did remove that out of the kitchen. I love how the sink area turned out. Basically, the final result of the sink area is all of the drawers and then that one cabinet are all empty. The only thing that has anything stored in this area, in the sink area, is under the sink. And that's how I want to keep it. I don't need to store anything in those drawers, especially those little drawers that pop out right in front of the sink. I, I, don't, I don't like those. But um, yeah, all of the the drawers in that one cabinet are completely empty. I love how the I love how this turned out underneath the sink. It turned out so good. Uh, it looked so much better, so much more organized. Hopefully, it stays that way. Um, and then this area, which was you can see, was a disaster. This is the after. 
I put all the large food containers on the bottom shelf. There isn't really anything on the top, very top shelf of any of the cabinets. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to put anything high up. But basically, I got rid of the breakfast cabinet and any food products that are in containers are in these two cabinets. Um, and I really, really love how this turned out. I hope that this works. I really hope that this works well. I really do. If it doesn't, we'll move things around again. Um, but all of the food that's in containers are in these two cabinets. And then I forgot to get a good before of the pantry because I rambled on and on. And these, they're from the Dollar Tree, these large uh, plastic containers. They're huge. Um, so this is the after of the pantry area. Uh, I do have some things stored at the top. I'd like to change that. I really don't want anything up there. And then the pantry looks pretty similar to what it looked like before. I do like this um, as a pantry. And I think that's what this was made for. You know, for the longest time, I thought this was a broom and mop place closet. <laughs> but then I was told that I think that's supposed to be, it's a, it's supposed to act like a pantry because I don't have, you know, any other thing in the kitchen that acts like a pantry. So that's it. And then, you know, the pans go in here. And then um, I didn't get a before of the beverages, but I, I did get an after of that. And that looks pretty similar. There's beverages on top and then canned and jar foods on the bottom. So this was the breakfast cabinet, as you could see in the the last piece of footage that I just showed you. I also forgot to get a good before of the breakfast cabinet. So that was kind of a, you know, not the best before of the breakfast cabinet, but um, that's no longer a breakfast cabinet. It's holding, you know, pans and, um, you know, other dishware and things like that. And then this middle cabinet, I also forgot to get a good before of that. <laughs> so um, I, th that was the little bit of footage of the before of what that middle cabinet looked like. Um, pretty similar. The only thing is, is that I did switch some things out and I did take the shoe boxes. I had shoe boxes in there as organizers and they just weren't working that well. You know, process of elimination. Some things work, some things don't. It's just about, you know, assessing what works for you, what doesn't. Um, and eventually after you, you know, kind of keep moving things around and changing things up, you know, eventually something's got to work. <laughs> I hope these before and afters are okay. I feel like I could have done a better job like putting this together. I, I don't know how I feel about it, but I really hope that the before and afters are okay. Um, this is the after of the Lazy Susan and the drawers and cabinets in this area, in this corner of the kitchen. Um, there were some things, you know, switched out. Some things were moved around. Um, the dishware and the glasses and the water bottles where that is uh i'm really excited about that that cabinet and <laughs> i'm really excited about that cabinet and i hope that it works well so far it's been working really well but i think what really has worked well for the kids is the kids cup area so uh that bottom cabinet the cabinet underneath the glassware the glassware cabinet <laughs> the cabinet right next to the stove um is where i put all of the kids cup glasses and i'm wondering if i should actually move that over to the cabinet by the sink that actually probably would have been better huh anyway regardless the kids cup cabinet is going to be low so that way they're not having to reach up high and grab something they can just, you know, it's easy access for them to just grab and then get a glass of water uh, because we do have that Culligan. Um, well, the water we use is Culligan. I think the actual water cooler is called Primo. I don't remember. I don't remember where I got it. Um, I didn't get it. My mom got it for us. <laughs> okay, moving on. I swear. I swear. I do not ask my mom for this stuff. She just buys it. Like she just does it. So, but anyway, I love the water cooler. She got that for us when I, around the 
around the time we moved in. Um, she didn't like our tap water. Then the area that I just showed you uh, underneath the countertop, right when you walk into the kitchen, that was the only area that I didn't get to. So I'll have to get to that in the near future. This is what my entryway hallway looked like after I was done with the kitchen. It was a complete disaster. Uh, I made a short on this as well, which I'll link in the description box below. But um, I have a bunch of recycling. Then I had a big that was for the cabin. I had two boxes full of stuff that was decluttered. I had a rubber bin that was holding seasonal stuff that had to be uh, put away. I had some miscellaneous stuff. All of the things on the entryway table were organizing supplies that had to be stored. I had to put that downstairs because I keep all of that. And then there was a little box full of stuff that I just wasn't sure where to place yet. So a lot was removed from the kitchen. Um, but that is it for today's video. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I'm forgetting to talk about. I really hope that you liked it. I'm going to end today's video with bits and pieces of what was supposed to be my original intro uh, that I thought would be fun to end the video with. <laughs> so my intro was like a, originally 10 minutes long. So this is bits and pieces of it. But anyway, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you so much. And we will talk to you what on the I next doing? one. Um, Bye, everyone. Is there anything else I wanted to add to the intro or was this it? What else was I gonna add to the intro at the checklist? But um, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. If there's anything else that I haven't, you know, got into, I'll do it in the voiceover. But um, oh, what? That was a large crack. That was a loud crack. What? What the? <laughs> that was a large crack. That was a large. What did I just say? I just stopped. Everything. Oh, there's a drawer and a cabinet that's empty. That's right. There, there is a drawer and there is a cabinet that is empty. So that is good. Pretty sure that was it.